In the wake of Islam Mahachev's dominant performance over Charles Oliveira at last weekend's UFC 280 in Abu Dhabi, attention has now turned to featherweight king Alexander Volkanovsky, who will reportedly be the Russian's first title defense. And of course, a who's who of MMA personalities have had their say on the Aussie. Today, we are discussing both Henry Cejudo and Conor McGregor's words about the great. So, don't go anywhere. Let's get straight into it then. What has Cejudo been saying? Easily the most cringeworthy man in MMA, Henry Cejudo seems to have an opinion on absolutely everything that happens in the UFC. And he has recently been speaking out about Alexander Volkanovsky's chances when he faces the newly crowned lightweight champion. The fight will reportedly go down at the Perth event in February, which of course is just for months away. But Henry believes Volk needs more than four months to prepare for the Dagestani wrestler. The Aussie is yet to taste defeat in a UFC octagon, but Cejudo believes that Mahachev's size will come into play when the two square off. He said, a taller guy, a bigger, stronger guy that has the ability of taking your hits and still moving forward, before adding, a guy that eats, breathes, and tells you exactly what it is that he's gonna do. He's gonna take you down. He's gonna smother you. He's gonna make you get up. He's just gonna beat you up. And I think you're gonna need more time for that. Of course, Cejudo has been angling for a crack at Volkanovski's featherweight crown for some time now. So he is almost certainly just upset that Volk wants to move up to challenge for a second title, who probably views the Olympic gold medalist as an irrelevant. Events. Henry then went on to complain about why they're doing it in Australia, before warning the featherweight great that you're gonna need a lot more than four months. What else did Cejudo have to say then? Let's see. Many will point out that Volkanovski clearly knows what he's doing as he is currently on a 22-fight unbeaten run, but that hasn't stopped Henry attempting to impart a sprinkle of wisdom on the pound-for-pound -pound best fighter in the world. World. Triple C, as he demands to be called, has warned Volk that you're gonna need the right training partners and the right coaches. I mean, the Aussie must be glad Henry is around to let him know, or how else would he have figured that out? Cejudo then went on to claim that Islam could even be in for an easier night's work than he experienced against Charles recently, suggesting that at least Charles Oliveira has submission. I mean, this isn't some bum they've just dragged off the street. This is Alexander the Great Volkanovsky, objectively the best fighter in the whole of the UFC at the moment. Although the Cali man, who is now based in Phoenix, did concede that Volk can probably submit people, he went on to question his ability, saying, I haven't seen a submission from him, and then him on his back, and he's shorter. I mean, there's a bunch of short Dagestanis in Russia that they're gonna be able to mimic that. Henry did suggest that there is a way for Volk to win, but ultimately believes Mahachev will have too much, and Volkanovsky's pound-for-pound -pound title is gonna be short-lived. What do you guys think? And what about McGregor? Well, the Irishman is a very close second to Cejudo when talking about the most cringeworthy men in MMA, and a lot of people would even put him ahead of Henry, so of course he had something to say about Volk. The pair have had words in the past, and McGregor appears to have relit the torch paper again in a bid to stay relevant after UFC 280 a couple of weekends ago. Posting an early mock-up promo picture of Volk and Mahachev side by side, the notorious captioned the picture with, my two old belts, on two little ticks. This fight does 10 buys. Of course, Volk wasn't about to allow McGregor to run his mouth like that though, and quickly shot back. A former wise man once said, winners focus on winning, losers focus on winners, in reference to a McGregor quote from many moons ago. Of course, once Connor knew he had Volk's attention, he attempted to butter him up, probably in the hope of fighting him further down the line 
claiming he was happy for Volk and his career, and also suggesting he was just watching and monitoring. Volk then responded by claiming he would be happy to welcome the former two-division champion back, whenever that might be. Of course, McGregor hasn't been seen in an octagon for more than a year, since breaking his leg against Dustin Poirier, and isn't even in the USADA testing pool right now, so it's going to be some time before we see him again. What else went down between the pair then? Well, much like Cejudo, Connor thought he should send Volk a spot of friendly advice, you know, because the featherweight king doesn't know what he's doing and all. He said, I was in your exact spot one time, don't forget, 145 coming up, good luck. McGregor then suggested that Volk bulk up to his rugby days before advising him to be a bowling ball. However, most people who have followed Volk's career know he was around 200 pounds when he was playing rugby, so Connor's comments don't make a lot of sense. He added, your condition right now as I see it, I don't know, but bowling ball style for you for best chance. Of course, the Irishman will have been incensed earlier this year when Volk left him out of the featherweight goat chat, actually saying that McGregor was at the bottom of the list of all former featherweight champs. I mean, he has a point. Connor never once defended the belt he spent so long chasing Aldo to acquire. However, Volk did give credit where it was due, saying, I'm going to give him respect. The dude can fight. To take out Aldo in Aldo's prime, that's saying something as well. Aldo is still showing he's still in his prime. He doesn't age. He then claimed he had done a lot more than him, McGregor, in the division, which he has, before adding that he would certainly be open to fighting Connor at some point in the future. I think we all know how that one would go. Next up, Volk has suggested he knows why McGregor took aim at him. Like the rest of us, Volkanovski thought his Twitter beef with McGregor was a little bit odd, but no one around the world of MMA should be surprised at something Connor writes on the social media site anymore. And speaking to Submission Radio a couple of days back, the featherweight king explained that he knows why McGregor spoke out. Of course, he acknowledged what we all knew anyway, that McGregor had no chance of fighting for the featherweight title, but did concede, I go and take that lightweight title. He knows there's an opportunity there. Volk has long suggested a fight between the pair could materialize, as he has his sights set on taking out every former champion who is still around. He believes to be crowned the GOAT, then you have to beat all the former belt holders, which of course makes sense. He continued, I've touched on the fact that he was the featherweight champion, and he's the only featherweight champion I haven't beaten, before then adding that not only does the fight make him a rich man, but it also means a lot for his legacy. Can you guys see Volk and Connor squaring off at some stage? Give us your thoughts below. And finally, could Arnold Allen be the next in line for a shot at Volk's featherweight crown? Arnold Allen is undoubtedly one of the best featherweights on the planet right now, currently riding a 12-fight win streak, 10 in UFC. After getting past Calvin Cater last weekend, the Englishman is firmly in the title picture. Of course, the fight didn't go exactly how he would have hoped. However, as Cater was forced out of the fight due to a problem with his knee in the second round, and after the fight, Arnold seemed frustrated about the situation as he referenced the Yair Rodriguez and Brian Ortega fight earlier this year. He said, obviously there was the injury with Yair and Brian, and then Calvin versus Josh Emmett. It was a real close decision. I wanted the performance to stand out so I could actually ask for a title shot. Like, look, this deserves it more than that and that. But now I'm in the same boat.
boat. We might as well just all hang out together and talk about it. Almighty then explained he had no opinion on who he fights next, going on to say, like I said, everyone's getting dodgy wins and weird things. It's hard to say who deserves it. I don't know, whoever. However, with the impressive run he's on, many are saying he should be next to challenge Volk for featherweight gold. What do you guys think? As always, thanks for dropping in on us today, and remember to tune in again next time when we will be discussing all sorts of other interesting bits and pieces. And don't forget to like and share. Bye guys!